In this video, I'll be showing you how to do a monitoring survey using magnet field and tools using the monitoring field routine. And here we have some frequently asked questions about monitoring using the magnet field solution. These questions are here to highlight the difference between using the monitoring field routine and the set collection field routine, which we'll be covering in part two. From the main screen of Magnet Field, we go into Configure and then Survey. And then we want to edit our optical configuration. Simply give the configuration a name and type of robotic. Ensure the manufacturer is Topcon and the model of total station you are using. We're connecting using Bluetooth. Ensure advanced tracking is turned on. Then we simply hit Next. And on the survey settings, we ensure our target type is prism and our foresight and backsight prism constants are correct for the prisms that we are using. You can select between fine, rapid or tracking for your EDM measuring type to achieve the accuracy required for your distance. On our monitoring options screen we can log to a file or a COM port or none. We can output the data type as coordinates or raw data. And the format for coordinates can be text or GGA format. We can dictate where we're saving this file to. And this will log automatically in the background as you record your data. We can dictate whether we search after turn, whether we track aim or none. Uh, measurement method we can set to direct or direct and reverse and we can measure up to three sets for our monitoring and we need to ensure that we store as checkpoint is ticked. We can go up into the magnet symbol and then help and this has some information about the monitoring options that we can see on this screen for some further explanation on how to use the monitor options. We can simply continue through the configuration we can set up a data output option which is our second output and again we can log to a file a com port or none we can set the output type to raw data and coordinates in this case we're using raw data and we're outputting a GTS-7 format and again we can set where to save this file again we can go up into the magnet symbol and then help for further explanation about these data output options the two main advantages of using the monitoring field routine is to have these two data output options set up in your configuration. And then we can simply hit next and continue through the rest of the configuration. And once we are happy, then we can hit the green tick. Once you are back on the main screen of magnet field, we can simply go into configure coordinate systems to ensure that we're in the correct projection or grid system that we need to use for this current job. Magnet field needs to have these points that we're monitoring as a point list in the software. To check that we have points in the software, we go from the main screen into edit and then point list. Here we can see we don't have any point lists at the moment. So we need to go back to the main screen and go exchange from file ensure that the data type is a point list and we can select the settings and make this a design or a control point. You need to set the format of this file type which is commonly a text or CSV file. In this case we're using text and then we simply hit next. We navigate to the file that contains the points and then go next. We dictate the delimiter format of the file and then we simply hit next. We can set the coordinate system of the file being imported and then we can hit next. And we can see here four points and a point list has been imported successfully. And again from the main magnet field screen we can go into edit point list and we can see here we have the point list and we can hit edit to see the points that are contained in the point list with their name and codes and we can set the order of these points as well. Once you're happy you have all the points in there, we back out to the main screen of magnet field and we go into survey and then monitor. Once in the monitor screen, we can go up into the magnet symbol 
and then back sight. And this is a quick way to do our back sight occupation. And then we can simply select our occupation point with height and set our instrument back sight point or azimuth and the appropriate height for the target. Please ensure you need to have a stored back sight point in order for the routine to work. If you have observation info ticked, when we hit next, it will prompt you for the temperature and pressure settings that the instrument will be using for the routine. And then we can perform the back sight. We can set the circle to the azimuth, or you can input another value. Once you are locked on to the target, you can simply hit set, and then you can check the residuals of your back sight, and you can also save this out by hitting the page symbol. Once you are happy, just simply hit the back arrow, and then you will return to the monitor point list screen. We can simply hit the page symbol and then select the point list that we want to use and then we can go up into the magnet symbol and then hit monitor config. And this is where we can check the monitor options that we're about to conduct in the field. And you can also go back into the magnet symbol and then hit help to find out some more information about how to conduct the field side of the monitoring routine. Once you are happy, your config is all set up, we can simply hit next. Once you are in the monitoring routine, simply cite your first monitor point and then hit the measure symbol. From our frequently asked questions, we will note that we have four points in our list to measure and it will measure all three sets, direct and reverse in this case, to the first point, which is point 100, and then it will move to point two and measure all three sets on point 101 and continue that routine all the way until the final point and then this routine will actually keep going until the user physically stops the monitor routine. Even though it might reach the end of the point list, it will then go back to the first point in the list and continue going through monitoring. We can set a cycle time for when all points and sets have been collected that the total station will start measuring all sets again. If you have auto off, you physically have to turn to the points individually. As we can see here, we're on the final point and the final set in our reverse measurement. And we can see here that it will turn back to point 100. It will automatically lock onto the target and start measuring again from point one, doing its three sets on that point. We physically have to hit stop for the routine to stop. And then we can simply hit home and then we can go into edit and then raw data. And then as we scroll down the raw data, we, we can see our back sight set and also all the check shots that were conducted with the little green tick at the start indicating that they are a check shot and this was set up in our instrument configuration. If these points are not stored as a check shot in magnet tools, you cannot create any check shot reports. And then we can simply back out to the main menu of magnet field, and this concludes the monitoring field routine, and now we can move to the office. The only file that we need from the field is the MJF, or the magnet field job, that was used for the monitoring. Once in Magnet Tools, we can simply go New Job, and we can give this an appropriate name, set the job file directory, and who this was created by, and we can simply go Next, and we can look at the display options that will be used in the current job. We can go Next again to ensure that we're using the correct coordinate system for this job. And once happy, we can simply hit Create, we have two options to bring in our field data. We can simply go up into the import option under the job toolbar and then select MJF and navigate to the directory and then import it. Or the easier way is to have the file explorer with the file open and then simply drag and drop the MJF file into the main screen of magnet tools. Once a file is in Magnet Tools, we can see the observation view and also the TS observations down below. And then we can simply go into view, map view, and you can change it to a map view if this suits your user better. To get our check shot report out, 
we can simply go up to the report tab and if we have created a report configuration previously we can simply hit execute report drop down and then select the monitoring report option and it will generate a report straight away. If we haven't created a report configuration we simply hit report configuration. In this case I'm just looking at an existing monitoring report and we can see here the included report items that will be generated in this report and we can change the order of them by hitting the move up and down arrow and we also have extra available options on the left hand side that we can simply move across by hitting the two middle arrows. You also have the option to select the included report and then hit options. In this options screen this just gives us some more available columns that we can add to our report and in this case we're adding a timestamp to the check shop report. We can hit apply and then OK and then we can select the report format that we want to use mainly Excel or PDF. Once happy we can simply hit execute and a PDF file will be automatically generated. We can see the project that was set up, the point summary and also the check shop report. In this check shop report, this is where we can see our residuals in EC Northing and Elevation for the points that we monitored in the field. And we can also see the observations that were conducted. You might just want the check shop report by itself, so we can simply close that. So from the report configuration screen, we can simply go new report and we can just select the check shop report option and move it across remembering to add our option of timestamp and then we can make it an Excel format and we can hit execute and this way we can just have this as its own spreadsheet by itself and this can be edited in Excel. And that concludes monitoring with magnet field and tools part one using the monitoring routine. In part two we'll show you how to use the set collection field routine